I love when a passage starts off with a word I've never seen before in my life. I don't know how to say it. Aptamers? Aptamers? I don't know. Uh, well, let's give it a shot. Some of these choices look kind of long. Others look a little short, so that, that might be good for us. But let's see what we get. Aptamers, synthetic DNA or RNA molecules that bind to target molecules, can be used to test for foodborne bacterial pathogens, though, but... Their specificity, the probability of returning a negative result in the absence of the focal pathogen in real-world foods has been unclear. So, okay, specificity unclear. I don't know what that means. It's ironic that specificity is unclear, but whatever. We'll just move on. Uh, this, these people fabricated test paper incorporating aptamers targeting strain 0157H7 of the bacteria E. coli. The paper shifts from pink to purple as the aptamers bind to target molecules. They found they, they tested the paper in store-bought pear juice they treated with E. coli, uh, this strain of it, other strains of E. coli, or other bacteria species. Following the exposure of the paper from the 0157, test was purple, while papers from the other tests were pink. This is a great example where I just go back. What did purple mean again? Purple meant they said it. I remember they said it. I didn't memorize it. Uh, purple meant that it's there. They're targeting it. Uh, so yeah, so purple is good, right? So the purple was there for the one that they targeted and not for the others. So suggesting that, I don't know, the paper works, something like that, right? This, the paper worked, right? There was a targeted thing and it, it worked. So the specificity is something to do with, I don't know, the probability of returning a negative result in the absence of the focal pathogen? Oh my God, I don't know what that means. Let's 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 worry about that later. Okay, let's go to A. Aptamer-based tests in real-world foods are more likely to show a high degree of specificity if the focal pathogen is E. coli 0157H7 than if the focal pathogen is another strain of E. coli or another species. N no, 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 no. Okay, so more likely comparison, right? So that's already a, a red flag. Plus, this feels like a big, small thing uh, where this is one test that they did on one aptamer about one strain of one disease. So now you're telling me that all the tests that are on real world things are going to show a high specificity for this? Like, I, I, I don't know. This just feels like one random example. This choice, though, seems to be building it up into some big conclusion um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't understand something though, because this, this idea of specificity is hard for my brain, but let's look at B, I guess. Uh, uncertainty about the specificity of aptamer based tests for pathogens in real world foods may be due to the similarity between E. coli 0157 and other E. coli strains. Uh, yeah, but the, the paper worked, right? It didn't get confused between the 0157 and the others. So, are are they similar? I don't think so. There's obviously a difference if it's not, if it's testing different things and it's getting different colors. So I, isn't this the opposite of what we're saying? I don't know. Maybe I don't understand it, but yeah, there you go. Um, okay. Uh, the specificity of the tests in a real world food uh, was unaffected by the aptamer's tendency to bind to different strains of E. coli. What? There. It was affected, wasn't it? By the aptamer, right? Because again, it, it binds to one thing and not to the others. And maybe I'm missing something here. I don't, I feel like this is just obviously wrong, but okay. Uh, let, let's go to D. The aptamers successfully bound to E. coli 0157 and the test displayed a high degree of specificity. In, yeah, the, it worked. I don't know. This feels like the answer here just because it, my dumb summary really matches with that. I, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, this would be a great example where, depending on how much time I have left, I'm going to make a different choice. If I am in the hard module and I know that I need to move fast, I'm going to bookmark this thing and say, all right, I, I felt pretty good about that dumb summary and my understanding of the end of the passage. Let me just pick the choice that clearly seems to match it. Maybe I'm falling for a trap, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. And then if I have more time, I will come back to this and try to understand this aptamer specificity thing a little bit more. Since it's a video and I can do as much time with this question as I want, uh, let's take a look. Uh, these aptamers can be used to test for foodborne bacterial pathogens, though their specificity in real world foods is unclear, meaning the probability of returning a negative result in the absence 
of the focal pathogen? Well, a negative result in the absence of the focal pathogen, meaning the focal pathogen, the one that we're focusing on, isn't there. So wouldn't we want it to not have a positive result? Wouldn't we want a negative result? This doesn't seem like a bad thing, right? Is if you're specifying that I want to test for E. coli 0157, then you would only want E. coli 0157 to show up as positive when you're testing it. You wouldn't want other strains of E. coli to show up as positive. So it sounds like it was unclear, but then this guy found a thing that worked. So is it not unclear anymore? Like, I don't, I don't understand the problem here. Uh, a, again, let me just go back to it. Aptomer-based tests in real-world foods are more likely to show a high degree of specificity in the, the focal pathogen. Is that? No, they're not comparing this. 0157 is not special. It is just the one they happened to test in this particular experiment. That, that's it. It's not like a, some big, important strain of disease. Like, it's just, just a random bacteria. It, I'm not, it's not, it's not, we're not drawing broad conclusions uh, because of this one thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, this, we're not comparing. This is, this is definitely wrong. Uh, B, again, uncertainty about the specificity of aftermarket-based tests for pathogens in real-world foods may be due to the similarity. No, I, again, I don't know what's going on in general. I only know what's going on in this one case, and they specifically are saying that 0157 is not similar to these other things, at least when they're testing this one type of paper. It, it was different. So no. And C, the specificity of the tests in the real world are unaffected by the aptomer's tendency to bind to different strains. No, it, it, it is affected. I, again, it bound to the right thing, right? The one that they were testing for tested positive, the others didn't. So I don't understand. If you've got more info here and understand what these aptomers are, go, go for it. But to me, it, it's got to be D. This is so clear. I mean, that is the answer, but it's just so obvious to me why that's right. Just looking at it, it's successfully bound to that. And there's a high degree of specificity. It works. The thing works. So I wonder if that's the trap here is that it starts out kind of with this idea that seems bad. And then uh, it shifts over to like the experiment worked. A lot of times on these SAT questions, the experiment is inconclusive or goes against something that we previously believed. I don't really know. But here, I don't know. It just seems obvious.